Welcome to part three of the Fur Elise piano tutorial. Today we're learning um, a part that sounds like this. And from there. It goes on from there, but we're just learning that, that first part. Um, so it's a little bit tricky to teach this, so I, I actually think I want to break it down into the right hand and the left hand. I don't usually do this, but I think for this section it makes sense. So what your right hand is doing is playing an E and a C. Uh, and you can follow along with the music. You see that's like the first. You're playing it as a chord. And you immediately are going to move your thumb up to an F. So you're playing an F and a C. And then you're going to move your thumb back to that E and you're going to move your, it's like you're splitting this and you're going to play a G, add a G. So the first three chords in your right hand and your pinky stays always on the C and your left hand is, to, and your right thumb is going E and then your two is going to play an F and then you're going to split and play an E and a G and you're always playing that pinky, so like this. All right, now the next thing you're going to do is this little roll and it's kind of like your playing an F chord, an F major chord, so F, A, and C, but really the key is this C, you're rolling these other two notes really fast, they're really fast grace notes. So practice just rolling so that you're just basically really quickly touching that F and that A before ending on this C, okay? So the first four things. All right, then you're gonna jump up to this F up here. And I think the best way to hear this rhythm is to sort of imagine that you're singing it. La, da, da, da. So you can actually sing that. La, la, da, da, da. Because that'll, get, that'll help you get the rhythm. Um, so anyway, you jump up to that F. La, da, da. And you're gonna play two E's right after. F, E, E, D, F, E, E, D. And you immediately jump up to this B flat, oops, sorry. B flat, A, A, so B flat and then two A's. So let me just show you what this little run, this next run sounds like. So, da, na, ba, da, da, na, 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 na. So it's mostly just walking down, kind of like a scale here. So um, just practice this. The first part is the only little like hiccup. B flat, A, B flat and A. And then start basically starting from A, you're gonna kind of go down. And the only, the only uh, you're gonna play all white notes except you're gonna play B flats instead of B. A, G, F, E, D, C, B flat, A. So nice and fast. So play just that until that's sort of nice and smooth, right? And I don't really care what fingering you use. I'm doing like three to three again. So I'm kind of like switching every three. And I start this A with three. because the next part you're gonna to want to have your three here. Anyway, so you've just played that run. Then you've got this, this little grace note again, but I'm just gonna show you the part before, before uh, after the grace note and then we'll add the grace note at the end. So the part that you're playing after is like a faster, which is just A, G, A, B flat, C. And the way you add that little grace on is before you get to that A, you play this B flat really fast. You see that? So you can do like this. The B flat to the A grace note. And then G, A, B flat, C. So you can just practice doing that little thing. Okay? And after that, you kind of hold on to that C for a while. And then you're gonna uh, walk up from D to D sharp E. That's really pretty nice. 
Okay? And then you've got these three notes. Uh, actually, four notes. Uh, e, F, A, C, and then D, B, and then the next part, C, and just make sure you play that C with your two. So you start this, this D with your three finger. D, B, C, D, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, and the next part comes after that, okay? So that's the right hand. I'm gonna show you the left hand and then I'm gonna try and slowly bring it together and this is it's just gonna take some practice. That's just sort of the, how it goes, but. Uh, so you've got this. So while you're, we're starting this thing, bah, 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 and I just showed you that right hand was doing this. And what your left hand is doing while your right hand is doing that is you got B flat and C. This B flat drops down to an A. So you've got A and C. And then this A sort of, I think about it as splitting. So you've got um, G, B flat, and C in your left hand. So the first three chords. And if, if you're thinking ahead, you can probably already see that that's gonna fit nicely together with this. But you can practice that later. We're not going to get too much into that just yet. So your left hand continues from this. And you're basically kind of playing, think about playing an F major chord. Remember with, the, with that run up I was saying, think about an F chord. Your left hand is also thinking about an F chord. You're, you're, you're outlining that F chord. You're arpeggiating the left chord, right? So you've got F, A, and C in your left hand that you're playing bottom, middle, top, middle, top, middle that's the first measure okay and that bottom middle top middle top middle is kind of a common pattern that you're going to see throughout this uh, piece all right so common mid uh, bottom middle top middle top middle and then these two top notes are going to basically kind of slide up a little bit so to the b flat and the d and you're still going to do the same pattern so watch as i switch between the first two measures now everything slides up Okay, the next measure is gonna be, you're gonna play that F again, and you're gonna jump up, not quite to the F, but to the E. Sounds a little harsh, right? And you're gonna play one F, one E, and then you're gonna come down here and you're gonna play these chords, these notes, an F, a G, and a B flat. Okay, and you're gonna switch between that E. Kinda like this, so you might just practice doing that it's actually kind of hard on your hand to do that. So you've got F, oh, let me sort of back up. Let me back up and show you a quick review of the left hand because it's a little bit tricky. B flat and C, A and C, G, B flat and C. Then you've got this arpeggiated F chord. And then you slide everything up. And then you're gonna jump to this E and then alternate between this chord. Okay, and then back to that F chord. Okay, now the cool thing is you've, you've just played, you, after this little, you play this F chord arpeggiated and you do it for two measures in a row. Now the next part, you're gonna slide the pinky down one white note to an E, and you're gonna go up here to this A and the C, kinda like from before, Back to the A. Now this time you're gonna split your hand and you're gonna get octave Ds. I'm gonna move my fingers out of the way, but really you don't wanna have them up like this. Octaves D, Ds, and then you're gonna to wanna to grab an F and move right up to a G. Okay, now once you get to that G, you're gonna be alternating G, G, F. little C and E chord. G, E, G, F, G, F chord, C and E. Now I know I'm throwing a lot at you and it's tough. I think maybe you, you, you'll want to pause the video and make sure you get one part at a time. I'm going to show you a review and I'm going to do that really slowly with both hands at the same time and then I'm going to ask you to practice. It's just going to take some, some effort, okay? So the first thing you do is you got this like set of chords that sets up this section. So B flat and C in your left hand, E and C in your right hand. And by the way, for this part especially, 
sing along. It's going to help you out a ton. Uh, first three chords. And you've got this like F that you're outlining. And remember this is like that. And you get to this B flat and you're back into F's with this chord. And you're gonna do a little quick trill here and then this gets fast. The walk up from the D. And then you're gonna slide this down to this E here. Now you split to D's. So you see what's cool there? You got F in here when you get these D's down here. Uh, uh, and you're gonna jump to A here while this is hit, hitting the F. That's probably one of the hardest parts. This F, A, C in your right hand and D, F, uh, D, F, G is weird here. So practice the, this, part, this part together. Up to the E, immediately expand to the F. And you'll notice I played ba, 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 da. It kind of comes after this, this D that you're playing in your right hand while you're playing this G in your left hand. And you play an F, B, C. And right when you hit that C, you're gonna play this chord. So let me just play that part together for you, um, sort of medium speed, and try and be really clear about each part, and then you gotta practice. <laughs> Okay, that's the part. It'll be a little bit faster than that when you get comfortable, but that's pretty much it. Take your time, uh, figure it out. You can definitely do this. This is the hardest part after this. It, it's a lot of recycled parts. It gets easier, all right? So that's the tutorial. I really hope it helped you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.